Hey guys, it's Zaley Barkley of ZaleyBarkley.com. I am your video sales and marketing coach, and I'm also a Thinkific expert and partner. Today, we are talking about creating a YouTube intro in Canva. Listen. I've been telling you guys for a bit, video on Canva has been a game changer. They're doing a lot with video and I am here for it all. I'm gonna walk you through the back end of what you can accomplish with video inside of Canva. Every time I log in, there's more and more and more goodness in there that you can use for your online courses, your digital products, your coaching business, whatever it is, there's so much going on inside of Canva. If you're here and you have not subscribed yet, I encourage you to do so because I create amazing info that really helps you show up online in the best way. I create content that helps you to help your audience stop the scroll, and when they stop the scroll and they click on your content, it's just value in there, which leads to that no like trust factor and easier sales. So let's dive into the back end of what's going on with video content in Canva, and I will see you there. <laughs> Excited about this. So this is the back end of Canva, and if you want a video, what you can do is just easily click over here, or if you click search Canva, it'll give you options to find the video template, right? So video, what we're looking for is 1920 by 1080 because that's the standard size for a YouTube video or you know most videos, like if you're doing a Facebook video, whatever that is, unless it's IGTV, then the settings would be different, but for this, but for this tutorial, we're actually using uh, 1920 by 1080. So we're just gonna click on that. Now, listen, we're gonna get a walkthrough of just the back end of what's going on with video in Canva. And I know I have a video about video in Canva that I created some time ago, but this is a bit more updated because they're developing it as we move along. So listen, this is the cool part. If you look in this bar over here on the left, you can actually see video for different uh, sectors or segments or industries. You guys know I'm all about educational videos. So you're able to see what's in here. If you're an online course creator like me and my audience, we would have fun in here, right? <laughs> so you're able to click and see, you know, what templates they have and what's going on. And you can actually create videos in here. Listen, this is a game changer. <laughs> what we're doing today is we are looking for an intro, right? So we're looking to create a YouTube intro and you can actually do that. So if you keep scrolling, you can definitely explore for your industry or sector to see what kind of video you would like to create. But for me, I'm looking for YouTube videos, right? So it has YouTube video here, but if you scroll down a bit more, you'll find YouTube intro. So that's what we're looking for. And there's a bit, <laughs> and this is so exciting. Now I'll give you one tip for YouTube intros. You do not want them to be too long, right? So even this one right here that says ready, um, and you know, the other one would say set. So I'm, I'm thinking, you would click add so we're exploring this together and set would go here goulash i don't know what goulash is but <laughs> i would put ready set zaley um and you know whatever that thing was right so ready set zaley and maybe a video of me doing something so I might change this like we did before to Zaylee. And like I said, your YouTube intro does not need to be too long. And I can put a blurb about myself, you know, here, like educational. Videos <laughs> for course creators, right? So, um, that's good, ready, set, say, Lee. And I might just remove this guy here and I'm gonna go into my uploads and probably find um, you know, a picture of myself. I'll remove the background. You guys know I have so many projects going on. So if you're not following me on the vlog channel <laughs> where you see the back end of my business, I'll invite you to do that um, by clicking the link down in the bio for the vlog channel. Then you can see much more of me. But listen, this is so cool, right? I already have an orange sweater <laughs> and so I'm easily able to put myself right here 
this is actually pretty cool. And what I would do is remove that video, right, that they have. And I'll probably go into videos and add a video of myself. Now listen, you can actually upload media. So if you have a video that you want to upload, you can grab that and put it into Canva. So guys, this is a game changer. Another game changer is that we can also upload audio. So when I made my first video, we could not. Now for me, I have a loop, I get my music on Envato. Um, and so I have a loop that I use it's pretty loud, <laughs> but I do have a loop that I use for my video specifically. And so I just uploaded it into Canva. That is so exciting to me, like you guys don't even know. But before we get into that, let's head back into video. So let's say I want to add a video of myself, right? So this is on this last part. I'm gonna open that up so that it fits <laughs> uh, the frame, right? So I'm just gonna drag that a bit. And what I'm also gonna do is cut it. So I'm gonna find a part of this video that I really like and that I would keep to loop. Remember, we don't want this to be too long. So I'm gonna basically scrub and trim. So you can see a lot of that is very blurry. So I'm just gonna look for a part where we were able to capture me probably talking and <laughs> having a good time with the camera. Um, and it's really gonna be a bit of a loop, right? So let's see, let's just test that out. <laughs> and I'm actually not really recording there. I was just, you know, acting for the camera. But what I wanna show you guys is that I'm able to do that. And the cool thing is I can bring down the transparency here so that this part pops out. And this is kind of pretty long. So what I wanna do is make sure that I go to time because that is way too long of an intro. And I wanna make sure that these are shorter. So what I, I'm gonna do is probably put them all at two seconds so it happens faster. And you can just play around with this, right? The other cool thing about this, I'm gonna put them all to two seconds. And the other cool thing is, this is even too long, guys. Like, I'll trim this. Okay. And so what I'm also going to do, just to make sure that things look like yours, and you don't have to use this exact template. It doesn't have to say ready, set, daily. This is just us going through to see, you know, what we can alter and change and move around. But what you also wanna do is use your brand colors, right? So that's what makes Canva templates so awesome is that you can actually go in and use your own brand colors. And for me, I always, I, I already have my color palette like figured out right? So that um, I know exactly what I want things to look like. And one hack is that if you're having trouble figuring out what colors to use, look at your brand. And what you can do is see that there are actually colors that are similar. If there are colors that are similar to your own brand, definitely head into there and change those colors. Example, the Zaylee here may match, um, let's see, I'll go with like this lighter blue on my palette, right? So that makes things, so this is a darker blue and this is a lighter blue. Now let's talk about animations. Well, first let's change this <laughs> to the appropriate colors, right? So I wanna change this background right here. So I'm gonna click it and I'm going to bring that into my brand colors, right? So this, and I wanna bring this color into that red over here, right? That feels a lot better. And we're going to make sure that that transparency, because we want this to be the main feature here. So we just want a little taste of me back there, right? And so um, what I want to show you guys as well is animations. But let's just test this video out to see how it's looking.
right? So you want your video to be sh short and sweet, especially if it's a YouTube intro because your people are hungry for information. They don't wanna sit forever watching your intro. Even my intro right now for my channel, I need to really sit down and shorten it, right? Transparency moment. <laughs> I need to sit down and shorten it, but you know, something like this is pretty cool. If you have a little music to it, that's fine as well. Or what you are also able to do is add um, animations to spice things up. So this right here is an animation. And what we are able to do is go into elements, right? And you'll see stickers and things like that, that you can add to um, your content to just to enhance it a bit, right? So I'm gonna go in and see if I have like live animations or sparkle animations, you know, you're able to add things. And this is such a cool part of, um, it doesn't have to be a sparkle animation, but whatever is in alignment with your brand, right? So you wanna keep that in alignment. So even if we go to animations or live animations, you're able to add things that are relevant to your brand, right? So let's say you wanna put an arrow. You guys know I love a good arrow. So this one is moving and because it's moving, it will download in that way, right? Um, you know, if you wanna put a circle, <laughs> it can be simple guys, like really simple. Just think about it in, uh, you know, correlation to your actual brand, right? So, you know, it can be, listen, I even used this for a sales video the other day. Um, like even simple things like that. I'm not saying for an intro, but definitely dive into animations and see, you know, what you can find, right? All right, so we see how quickly this is moving and how easy and awesome that is. And like I said before, if it's relevant to your brand, you can change out uh, the words or, you know, think about words that are relevant to your brand. I think I saw live, laugh, love just now. That was pretty cool. Uh, uh, an example of adding something that is relevant to your brand would be me putting this somewhere, right? Um, because it's a camera and you guys know that I love teaching about video sales and marketing and online courses. So think about things, oops, <laughs> that are actually relevant to your business, right? And you can add them in as well. Now, I want to also just go back, right? So I'm gonna go back to uploads, I'm gonna go back to audio. And what I'm gonna do is, oops, drag and drop this. Now this is really loud, so I'm gonna, turn it down a bit so that it doesn't scare whoever is actually um, getting in there, right? And so we have the music to it. And I'm just going to make sure that when I play, um, it's lasting for the 12 uh, seconds of the duration. Yes, there we go. Hey, Now, one thing I wanna do is actually also remove the sound in this video. So I'm gonna click on it, and what I'm gonna do is just hit this and mute it, right? So whatever video I had there, it's not actually, I'm not hearing the talking in there because I was before, right? So let us go back and preview it again. Right, and so that is a quick little intro. You guys always ask me about intros and you don't have to go through a lot to create an intro. Um, you can definitely do different things. You can even upload an audio where you are singing or you're talking or you're introducing your channel or you know your online course or whatever it is. Video does not have to be crazy, guys. It's not hard, you can do it. And the next thing that you would do obviously is download that. So you would hit file type, MP4, all pages. And remember, uh, in Canva, pages are kind of like frames, right? So, you know, your your frame would change as the page change changes. So I want all four. And I'm gonna just hit download there, and then we're gonna just preview that and see what it looks like. So this was pretty fun. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, we're gonna just wait for this to download, and then we're gonna preview it together. And then we're gonna sign off. But I want you guys to tell me down in the comments 
things. What else do you want to know about Canva or video for Canva? I really want to know because I love just teaching these things, tools and techniques that you can use in your own strategy, in your own online courses, in your on your YouTube channel, on your social media. I want you to let me know. All right, guys, let's preview our intro. <laughs> All right, so that is our intro. Um, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said before, let me know what you wanna see next from me down in the comments. I love you guys. Be sure to share this and be sure to subscribe. And if you have not turned on your notification just yet, I want you to do so as well. I will see you in the next video. All right, guys, so listen, that video was, it was a lot. There was a lot of goodness in there. I hope you enjoyed it. And like I said before, I hope you are subscribed. If you have not done so yet, please do so and turn on your notification bell while you are at it. I go live on Fridays at 7 p.m. and I want you to be a part of that. Listen, we have so much fun over here on this channel. I appreciate you for just being here and for getting to the end of this video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care. <laughs>